that? Single gunshot wound to the head, pants around his ankles. You really know how to relax. He was wearing a money belt, which might explain why. Uh, Car was cleaned out, rental, so no trace, no DNA. Contaminated. I thought you were in management now. Doesn't mean I don't care. I'm still a cop. You wouldn't understand. Because you don't want to be understood. There's a reason you wear the blue and white keep away sign every day. I oh, got a thing for uniforms. <laughs> it's getting late. You're doing it again. What? You're shutting down. You're pushing me out. I'm going to take a shower, quit reading so much into everything. And you're happy with this? It's a perfectly fine piece of journalism. Yeah, and Harold is a solid writer. But we need more than that, Ned. We need great. We need modernization. We need a blogger, a Facebooker. We need youth. You tweet, Ned. No, not really. Yeah, yeah. Well, Brazil's already got more than 10,000 followers on Twitter. Yeah, but this kid is still new to the game. But all due respect, so are you, Mr. Panessa. But covering crime is something that a reporter works up to. And just because you're a 22-year-old human interest writer who volunteers at the police academy... He came up with a fantastic idea for a story and took steps on his own time to gain a greater understanding of his subjects. All right, all right, he's good. I'm not arguing that. We need to heal the rift, Ned. TV talking heads get better access because the last regime took such a critical stance with the cops. Now, we're hemorrhaging readers. Cops are losing public support. It's mutually beneficial. You tell me why we shouldn't do it. Because as a newspaper, we're supposed to be watchdogs. We're supposed to be relevant. Passers-by found the body here late last night, and while motive remains unclear, some speculate robbery may have been a factor. With no suspects in custody, Charlotte Metro Police are asking anyone with information about this crime... I haven't touched your breakfast. Not hungry. Jake Johnson from Orlando was last seen running a car at the airport. He never made it to his hotel room. Stephanie Kent reporting live from downtown Charlotte. Thank you, Stephanie. We'll be following that story closely. It's my first day on the police beat. See you later, Mark. Deputy Chief Good. Virginia. Where are you headed this morning? Community meeting. Thought it best to have one of my men drive me. With patrol's poll numbers, I think you'd be better off taking anything but a squad car. I believe the chief wants to see you. Is this about the Ryan law? Good must have said no. He's not going to be the only one. Hey. It's just wrong that you can stay so thin. You want some? Unlike you, I have to work at this. Shocking as it may seem, I'm actually with my colleague on this ride-along thing. Engaging with a reporter is just asking for trouble. You know, when I left Atlanta to run Charlotte Metro, this department was a mess. So I made some changes and things improved. In some areas, tremendously, I'd like to think. But the public's opinion of us hasn't. 
Yeah, we have the media to thank for that, which is why this PR idea of yours makes no sense. It's mine. We have to credit the new publisher of the Register for that. But I like it. God knows we need some positive press. No, Patrol does. Investigations is doing just fine. Reporters live to expose Judy. You know that more than anyone. Vanessa's different. And so is this writer. His name's Andy Brazil. And he's a recent graduate of our volunteer police academy, which means he can accurately describe what it is we do out there. So patrol gets a pass, and my department gets saddled with this PR experiment? Not your department. You. Then look on the shelf. Of course, I checked. Then look in the back room. The wireless is down and you're missing a cable, but we can discuss internet security while we wait. I'm Linda Bond, Hi. IT tech. I hear you're quite the social media whore. Excuse me? Uh, then go to Radio Shack. He's a writer. He needs the internet. It's okay. I can use my iPad. This was on your desk, by the way. You have a not-so-secret admirer. Just call me if you need anything. Happy first day in crime. Thanks. Oh, and Tommy? Still not gay. There's always tomorrow. <laughs> you start tonight. Yes. <clears throat> I mean, th this is great. I, I can't thank you enough, Mr. Vanessa, okay. for everything. Uh, first a shot on the police beat, and now this. I'll write my ass off, I promise. I know you will. And Ned here is gonna help you. He's one of our best editors. I look forward to working with you. Yeah. So, who am I riding with? Vice, gangs, patrol? Deputy Chief Virginia West of the Investigations Division has agreed to allow you to accompany her as part of a four-part blog series on the CMPD. That's not what I pitched. Andy, that's exactly what no, we... No, no. I didn't go to the academy for six months and work out a 20-page proposal so I could do a PR puff piece. You know, he's got a point. Wes isn't going out on calls. He'll only see what she wants him to see. Well, then, I guess he'll have to write his ass off about that, won't he? His hotel's in the other direction. Do you think our victim knew where he was going, or did he just make a wrong turn? Don't know. I'm trying to see if we can track down any other surveillance footage to figure out his route. So far, this is all we've got. Bank records show he hit the ATM, took out 400 bucks at the airport in Orlando. No wallet on the scene. Could be a simple robbery gone bad. But it feels like more than that. Mm -hmm. Especially when you get a look at these scratches. They were skewered by blood at the scene. Fingernails, long ones. You think our guy pissed some woman off? Wouldn't be his first time. Rape allegations made against him when he was in college. Charges dropped due to insufficient evidence. Revenge killing? I don't think so. His accuser was killed in a car crash five years ago. I'm thinking maybe the urge resurfaced. We get anything on the bullet? Consistent with a 40 caliber Smith & Wesson. Couldn't find casings, though. What the hell are you doing? Uh, Andy Brazil with the register. I'm here for the ride-along. Yeah, which hasn't started yet. And what is being discussed here is confidential. I was just describing your office. That needs to come off. It's my volunteer uniform. If we're going to do this, you're going to have to change. Chicken breast, lemon caper sauce. Sorry I'm late. Busy day? Very. Randy called. He's starting a new job tomorrow. What a relief. Got an email from Jude the other day. He met someone. So, seems both our boys are doing well. 
Is that even warm anymore? It's warm enough. Did you do anything today, Seth? Did you get out of the house at all? Gardening. Went to the market. Say, when's that uh, public service awards banquet? I keep forgetting to put it on the calendar. It's this week. But I know how you hate those things, so I can always go alone. This is good. Never seen your byline before. Just started on the police beat. What'd you do before then? Human interests. TV listings. <laughs> been an increase in prostitution in the area? Yup. And not a Julia Roberts in the bunch. They're all drug addicts with crap childhoods, which is why they hook. I'm not sure what's sadder, the women who sell themselves or the men who buy them. Wow, really? I think anyone still smoked. Where's my lighter? What are you writing on that thing anyway? Tweeting. I'm trying to. There's not much to comment on. Uh, 94 Honda with a busted out window, and I'm guessing it's stolen. Do you need some? All right. Unit 700 in pursuit of a stolen vehicle, headed eastbound on Tavola and Woodlawn. Dark blue Honda, license 7, Apple, Apple 524. Copy that. Stolen vehicle on eastbound Tavola. Repeat unit number, please. 700. It's in for Deputy Chief West, and uh, welcome to the real world. <laughs> Pineville, need backup. Hit the lights and siren. Wait, what? I'm a little busy. We don't have sirens in volunteer vehicles. What the hell are you doing? I don't know. Heading north on Minuet. Hurry up, get the lights on. I'm trying. Maybe if you're I... spilling my coffee. Sorry, I found it. Unit 32, vehicle in sight. 700, we have equipment malfunction. 32 is all yours. Copy that. Maybe next time, Deputy Chief. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> My training vehicle only had roof lights. Because you're not a cop. You're a rider who likes to play dress up. CMPD Volunteer Force was Chief Hammer's idea. You saying it was a stupid one? Units in the area of Statesville and Cola, backup requested. Male suspect threatening paramedic crew. Unit 700 responding. Do not touch anything. Take them off, please. I can't breathe. Help me. Stay by the car. Take them off. I can't, please. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Oh, God. Guys, come with me. Take them off. Let me go. I call that on a domestic. Found this guy bleeding from the head. Alleges his wife here hit him with a bat. Both of them under the influence. I called out the EMTs. Hey, you know it's going to be a bad night when the first call of your shift is a meth head who won't get out of the rig. Help me. This guy is tweaking big time. Damn it, this card's take them off. What about his wife? She wants him back. Yeah, I don't think that's why she's screaming. Do you have the keys? Help me, Jack. Help me, oh God, help me. Help me. Take them off, please. Help 
bit better? Yes. Thank you. Hey, we're not supposed to hurt them, remember? You get the scissors from you? Overpowered my weekly partner here. I pumped that guy with enough tranks to knock out a horse. I can't help it if he's superhuman. Hmm. But she's gonna believe you over me. Hey, Duggins, shut up, will ya? Got back up in route. No need. Come on, I'll distract him. You guys grab him. Excuse me. Can I get each of your names? I'm from the register. Oh, perfect. The one night things go south on me and your friend here is on a publicity tour? Huh. It's not why I'm here. Hey! Get over here. Got him! Got him! Got him! Coming out! Uh, what did you say to him? Called him a pussy. You gonna tweet about that? Unit 700. Responding? Detective Brewster notifying. White male homicide victim found in Sugar Creek, 500 block of Drury. Hey, what do we know? Single GSW to the head, multiple to the torso, happened at least 24 hours ago. Name's Chuck Luby, and we only know that because of the rental car registry. Watch your wallet on? Didn't have a thing on him, literally. Wounds? Mm, 40 caliber S and W. Any cartridge casings found? Nope. Crap. So it's the same killer? No one said that. Jay Johnson's pants were down, both businessmen in rental cars, and based on what you just said, the same gun was used. You are not going to write about that. Charlotte has a serial killer, and you think I'm not going to write about you it? You write about it, you're going to screw up my investigation. Well, like you said, I'm not a cop. It means I don't answer to you. Now people are going to panic. We're not even sure it's the same killer. I can't even imagine what the talking heads are saying. Well, see for yourself. The victim, identified as Chuck Luby, was shot multiple times less than 48 hours after Jay Johnson was killed in a similar fashion. Both men were here on business, each for less than a day. Word of the murders has spread, having already been dubbed by some as the Queen City Killings. Police have yet to comment, but sources say both victims were semi-nude and their bodies were found in deserted areas. <sighs> Releasing those details just screwed us big time. You know, I get why you'd be pissed at the chick who's always sensationalizing stuff, but Brazil just asked the question. It was a fair one. Well, at least he complimented you for busting that uniform last night in his article. I don't need compliments. Not from an opportunistic voyeur who wants his name in the local paper. Deputy Chief, can you comment on the killings? Tell us what's going on with the investigation. Not my department, I can't really say, but I'm heading in to see the chief of police right now. Has the head of the patrol division any reaction to the statements made by your colleague about officers and unnecessary roughness? Look, we're not out there to hand out candy, okay? We're looking for a murder, right? Unlike Deputy Chief West Detectives, Patrols on the front lines. Excuse me. Is Chief Hammer in? She's in a meeting right now. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't have you down for an appointment today. Is she in with the mayor? Yes, but if it's urgent, I can get her. No, 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 no. No, it can wait. 
Uh, I'm sure Chief Hammer has a lot on her plate right now. Tell her I stopped by. Okay. Do you know how many phone calls I've got? How many emails? I imagine our numbers are on par. You are not an elected official. This couldn't come at a worse time. For you or for the victim? I've spent my entire term courting Fortune 500 companies looking to establish new home offices. We're up for three huge conventions and a major sporting event. And I'll assure the public... No, you have to educate the public. Talk about our 105% clearance rate of violent crimes. That figure includes the solving of crimes prior to last year. I'm not going to tell people that we've cleared more cases than we actually have. You need to keep a lid on this situation. Well, Judy, it's my job to protect not just our citizens, but their livelihoods, too. Solomon Cahoon, who, as you know, has the ear of the business community here, he suggests that, that maybe we should... I'm stopping you right there, Mayor. Charles, three years ago, you asked me to resign my post as Atlanta's chief of police, move here and fix a broken department, and that's exactly what I'm doing. Our numbers are solid, and I'm not going to inflate them to appease the self-appointed CEO King of Charlotte. This year's public service awards should be fun. Cahoon's the corporate sponsor. Silver tip hollow points, needlessly destructive in my opinion. Goes through tissue and organs like a buzzsaw. Firearms confirmed it was the same type of gun used in the first murder? Yes. First shot was to the head. Killed him pretty much instantly. Five other shots were fired into Luby's torso. Lack of vital response indicates they were inflicted post-mortem when the body was prone. Mm, either making sure he was dead or using him for target practice. How much of a target from two feet away? Any biological evidence? Put a rush on DNA, saliva on his face. Interestingly, male. This guy was married with kids. Never stopped anyone from being gay. Now, there's no specific evidence to support homosexuality, but we did find a platinum blonde, six-inch synthetic hair on Luby's pants. Where's the wife? Is she flying in? She's already here. My oldest boy. I told him not to. He goes online, and he found an article that said... Was Chuck naked? I'm afraid so. Who would do this to him? I wish I could answer that, ma'am. Was there a woman involved? Was this about sex? We don't know anything for certain. I wasn't there for him like he wanted. With the kids and the financial stress. I was just always so tired all the time. I drove him to it. No. This is not your fault. <laughs> Do you have any idea what you've done? You're welcome for the rather complimentary blog piece I wrote. Hey, let's get this straight. I don't give a crap what you write. I only care about who it impacts, like the victim's kid who reads an article with details no 10-year-old should ever know about his dead dad, or the real cops who are busting their ass to solve this case. My father was a cop, too, you know. And your point is you would have disappointed him? Got your computer cable. <laughs> this a bad time? I'm not interested, OK? So just leave me the hell alone. Come on, people! Lands and grooves on the bullets for both murders match. Are we thinking there's a sexual component? Yeah, it's hard to imagine there isn't. Mm, but neither crime matches any MO in the national database. Any link between the victims? We're checking backgrounds and computers now. Nothing so far. Get a look at this morning's register. Would I be planning a press conference if I hadn't? I told you ride-alongs were a bad idea. 
Well, that Brazil reported on the murders doesn't surprise me. That he wrote about you and patrol does. But that's a conversation between me and Deputy Chief Good. What are you going to tell the press? As much of the truth as I can. But not everybody wants to hear that. I got a visit from the mayor. The one who was elected or the one who actually runs the city? Who not only runs it, he owns it. That's why we need Panessa and Brazil in our corner. You're not done yet. Judy, for God's sakes, I have two homicides to solve. And ten detectives to help. Ride-alongs continue, Virginia. Fine. All right, tell me this. Brazil said his dad was a cop. That true? You know better than me. I'm a transplant, remember? Because I've been here a while. I've never heard anyone by that name of you. Don't know why I didn't put it together. That's his kid, huh? I was still in patrol when that whole thing went down, probably 10 years ago now. What whole thing? It's gonna be much longer. I've already been waiting 45 minutes. I'm supposed to be covering a fire. to Drew Brazil? Yeah, he was my father. Son here? You have 30 days to pay the fine or appear in court. I knew him. Wouldn't be dead if he'd followed protocol. I'd slow down if I were you. My name is Judy Hammer. I am the chief of police here in Charlotte. On Thursday at 9.37 p.m., the body of Chuck Luby of Birmingham was found in the Five Points area of Charlotte. Mr. Luby was shot multiple times and found adjacent to his vehicle. We are in the early stages of the investigation and have not as yet determined any correlation between Mr. Luby's homicide and that of another homicide which occurred two nights ago involving a Mr. J. Johnson. I don't think she heard you, Mayor. Apparently not. not. There is a public safety threat, but I have ordered an increase in the number of officers patrolling our streets. As always, we ask the citizens of Charlotte. Who's next in line? West heads investigation. Goods at patrol. Dozier, but he's admin. A word aside, we may need a change. Dispatch even know we're out here? They will, just needed to make this stop first. Got my lead detective interviewing out here. Queen City Killings? Johnson Libby Murders. Who made up that ridiculous name? Do you ever not tweet? I write what I see. I just need to touch base with him. Can I come along? After what you pulled last time, not a chance. It's important for the people of Charlotte to know all the police are doing to solve the crime. No, they just need to trust that we're doing it. Stay by the car. Maybe I should just ride with patrol then. Trust me, they don't want you either. So a wig like yours? I don't wear synthetic, and if I did, it wouldn't be tacky belong. Brewster, how's it going? Mm, I could ask the same of you. Just chatting with uh, Diamond here, see what she knows about all this. All this killing is killing business. That's what. Anyone out here turning tricks with a reputation for violence? Anyone with the gun? Honey, we're the ones who get killed out here, not the other way around. Me and my kind are gentle people. Anyone who's not your kind, then? Anyone new out here? Not that I've noticed. Know what's a real crime, though? A lady with all the goods who can't even be bothered to dress like one. <laughs> Vanessa? Chief Hammer. I was just about to call you. Brazil wants off the ride-alongs. So does West. I told her no. Great minds. Nice talking to you, Richard. Likewise, Judy. Seven hundred. I'm ten eight North Tryon Street. Copy that. Seven hundred. Personally, I don't believe either victim was gay. 
You're barely old enough to have sex. What makes you such an expert? Not as young as you think. 23? 22. 700 assault, suspect on foot, white male, green sweats, last seen on Wilkerson Boulevard. Seven hundred suspect in sight. Seven hundred in foot pursuit. Stay in the car. Anything you say can and will be used against you. You play any sport? Yeah. Oh, maybe you should. Copy that. 700 two minutes out on Randolph. A noise complaint really the best use of our time? Not every call's an action sequence, Gonzo. Can this day get any better? Church called about that noise. You can't hear anything. It's a strip club, reason enough to complain. I will never understand you people. I'm not all cut from the same cloth, you know. You the owner? Yes, ma'am, Randy Colt. You know, it must be a hell of a problem for him to send out the big guns like this. So I'm assuming you're, uh... Deputy Chief Virginia West, your neighbors next door are complaining about your volume. Complaining? Hell, if anybody should be complaining, it should be me. I mean, it's their damn loud music keeping all my customers out. Yeah, well, do us both a favor and you turn yours down a notch. Hey, Earl, bring it down a little bit. How's that? I appreciate it. I'll tell you. Hey, name. baby. I like your costume. Did you say something to me? Yeah. Yeah, G-string and pasties underneath all that? Oh! 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 Hey, knock it off! Oh, oh hey! Oh. Oh. 700, need backup and medical assistance. Colt Strip, 4211 South McDowell. Oh. Hey, old man, Bubba's had that one coming for years. So free drinks on me, son, anytime, all right? Thanks. Hey, man, you did good. He still shouldn't have grabbed a ass. You think Bubba will press charges? Not if he wants to do time for assaulting two cops. What were you doing in there anyway? Defending my honor? Now, this is the kind of call an EMT could get used to. Where's your partner? Ah, oh, Reigns has got the night off. Poor bastard. Expect any hear from someone? No. Here's waiting. <sighs> Thanks. I know about your father. How he went above and beyond the call of duty and it cost him his life. I know about your athletic past. And your meteoric rise through the police ranks. I have a trick to fix that. <laughs> Thanks. 
Yeah. I don't believe either victims were gay. I do believe there's a prostitution angle, though. The Emmy found male saliva and a synthetic hair on Chuck Luby. Maybe they were both duped by some trans hustler, or maybe there's some other person involved. At this point, I don't know who or what the killer is. All I know is they're out there. Is there still a shine? Three, two... That's right, Jen. And while the police have yet to identify a suspect in the so-called Queen City killings, sources close to the investigation say there's reason to believe the murders may be gay-related. Back to you, Jed. Enjoy your night off? Mm, not really. But I hear that absence makes the heart grow fonder. I have to get to work. I'll buy you breakfast. Want to be helpful? Walk the dog. Obviously, we've got a leak. Yeah, well, hello, she's been hanging out with a reporter. It's not him. Medical examiner's office, they found the saliva. Oh, Odin barely shares information with us. He's not talking to the press. How are we with that DNA? No code is it. Whoever the saliva belongs to hasn't been arrested. Doesn't help my hooker theory. Well, maybe we're not dealing with a pro. Could just be the lure. With robbery is the real motive. And murders the cherry on top. Other way around, more like it. So what exactly am I guy supposed to be looking for? Anything. Everything. I want officers patrolling all known areas of prostitution, sundown to sunup. Along with parks, public restrooms, strip clubs. Throw in some undercovers if you got them. Better go. Chief Hammer. Your husband called. Wanted me to remind you not to be late for dinner tonight. Oh, yeah. It's my anniversary. Stephanie, Andy Brazil. You're real. And here I thought you were Panessa's pseudonym. Can I ask you something? Journalist to journalist? Journalist to reporter. I'm assuming you consider yourself the former. Where'd you get your information that killings were gay related? You really think I'd tell you? No, but I do think you should be more careful, because it gives us all a bad name when your source is wrong. Let's go. That IT girl's obsessed with you in case you hadn't noticed. And she your type? No. Of course she isn't. Hey. Can I get your expert opinion on something? Sure. Both these guys have wives and kids. They did some digging, found out this one was accused of a date rape once. Either strike you as gay? Oh, God, no. But they do look like they'd have to pay for whatever action they did get. They strike as a type that could be duped into believing someone was a woman when they weren't. The hustlers who are trans, they don't have the money or time to do it right. People know what they're buying into, Andy. How can I be standing in your way when there's not even a defendant? I'll tell you what the correlation is. The longer you keep me on the phone, the less time I have to make a case for the prosecution. DA's already worried about his case. Neither Johnson nor Luby's home computer have any evidence of internet affairs or chat room hookups. No gay porn, but plenty of the straight stuff. Nice. You want to leak this to the kid? Uh, get the record set straight, so to speak? No. Let's keep our distance.
following me. What the? Got a couple of burglars trapped inside an electronic store out in Five Points. Think you've got a unit nearby? Copy that. We'll send someone right away. Yeah, I'm looking for Andy Brazil. Uh, I got it, Mom. Go back inside, please. Hey. Hey. You are taking this cop thing way too seriously. This makes it official. <laughs> Thanks. Single-handedly bringing down a burglary ring that plagued this city for months? How'd you do it? Let's just call it a happy byproduct. Let's get out of here. By the way, there's something you should know. What do you mean he's being followed? By whom? By patrol. For the last couple of days. <sighs> we'll be increasing our presence in the Tryon and airport areas as well as stepping up Deputy patrol. Deputy Chief near... Good, do you have any idea what harassment is? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. I just found out the patrol has been tailing Andy Brazil. Well, I don't know where you're getting your information from, but I can promise you... If any officer takes part in any of this again, I will have his or her badge. Am I clear? That's bad. Mm -hmm. I'm beginning to think you've got a sadistic streak, Virginia. As I was saying, that's not why I'm here. It went over your head. Who? The mayor. He called in the FBI. He wants you to hand over the investigation. I need you to stay home. She came back to get my laptop. I don't feel well. I gotta go. Andy, please! Get off me! Stop it! I'm sorry, I just... I really need something to drink, Andy. Can you get it for me? No. Andy Brazil. Andy, it's Richard Panessa. I've secured an interview with the mayor. I want you to conduct it. My imagination or has this place gotten worse? The clientele has, food hasn't. I'm just so used to seeing cops around. After my little speech, we'll be lucky to find a patrol car within five miles of this place. Hey, Raz, up in here? Yeah, that's right. Not the best timing ever. You're safe with me. Hey, I might not wear the uniform that much. Back at you, honey. Didn't like the cooking? Uh, no, I just... She counts her calories. Want some more coffee, at least? No, thanks. I know this one will. Mm -hmm. So because of these killings, you feel businesses are suffering? And when business suffers, our citizens do, too. That's why I called in the FBI. And the people of Charlotte deserve a quick resolution to these crimes. And by joining forces with our local police department, hopefully that can be accomplished. And in the interim? We go about our lives. Are you saying the city's safer with the FBI here? I'm saying we've increased law enforcement presence by 30%. And while it's unsettling, the average citizen has a better chance of winning the lottery than being this murderer's next victim. Actually, the odds of that are roughly 200 million to one. 
The metro area has a population of around two million people. So if two people were killed in less than four weeks, one does the math. Look, do I like driving downtown alone at night? No, but it's an irrational fear because a very small, very specific segment of the population is being targeted. The public needs to be aware of that. Whoever's doing this got no criminal record. So they're either young, lucky, or a recent convert. So what are you gonna do? I'm gonna give the FBI all the information we have. No reason why we can't keep investigating on our own. That a girl. Any unit in the area of West Trade and Graham, robbery in progress. On white mail on a bus. Hey. You know, it's going to take patrol a while to get here, thanks to me. Okay. Weston Hammer responding. 10-4. Excuse me, Mom. Certainly. Sorry, Mr. Mayor. I have to leave. Thank you for your time. Just hand it over. Come on. I'll go first. Judy. I ain't got all day, bitch. Excuse me, is this the bus to... This is the bus for giving me your money. Oh, we don't want any trouble. Then hand it over, now. Hands behind your head. All right, everyone. Police officers. Watch your step. Yeah, Hammer and West, suspect in custody in the squad here. No other unit need respond. Let's keep everybody out on the streets. Checking in, Blair Monty the Third. You here on business or pleasure? Both. Quitting my job. Wanted to do it in person. Check-in's not until four, but let me find out if your room is clean. You know what? Just have my bags brought up to my room and it's ready. I'll go out for a while. Will you require a taxi, sir? No, I have a rental. A map of the city, then? Want to make sure our guests don't get lost. I'm not worried. I grew up here. Make sure to get the bus in frame. Come on, windbags. And we're rolling live. I'm standing where it all happened. Chief of Police Judy Hammer and Deputy Chief Virginia West were apparently having breakfast nearby and responded to an armed robbery call. The two women managed to take down a man with a gun. Witnesses call the act heroic, but some have suggested these theatrics are a distraction to Charlotte's more serious crime issue, a serial killer among us. Sources close to Mayor Search quote him as saying that even he is afraid to drive downtown at night. Reporting live, I'm Stephanie Kent. Chief, do you have a visitor? Richard. What a hero, Chief. Or the chief distractor, depending on who you ask. Stephanie Kent is an idiot. With a viewership hanging on her every word. Look, what you did was great. Just like the job you're doing. Really? With the mayor terrified to drive around the city? Uncredited sources. That's not even journalism. Look, I like the job Brazil's doing. But I just... The story's getting much bigger than it needs to be. If there could just be some restraint exercise, at least at the register. Of course. So, you uh, ready for your award? I think it's safe to say that everyone from the mayor to Cahoon to myself would be happy if we could unring that particular bell. Yeah. But uh, you're still going, right? Yeah. With your husband? No, I wouldn't subject him to that nonsense. I'm going alone. Me too. Why not go together? Serious crime issue. A serial killer among us. 
Sources close to Mayor Search quote him as saying that even he is afraid to drive downtown at night. Reporting live, I'm Stephanie Kent. Sources close to Mayor Search quote him as saying that even he is afraid to drive downtown at night. Technology's not enough. All that tweeting, uploading, and posting doesn't add up to breaking news. You got a good old-fashioned scooping, Brazil. No, that, that wasn't scooping. Okay, that was stealing or hacking or something. She used my quote. I typed it into my notes, but didn't include it in my story. Yeah, but that's my point. Why not? Maybe your allegiance to CMPD is keeping you from being a serious reporter. You know, it's either that or you're not the boy genius that Vanessa thinks you are. Hi. You know, there's a gun in that drawer. Why don't you use that instead of a spoon if you want to kill yourself? That's not funny. It wasn't meant to be. I changed my mind. I want to go to that public service awards thing with you. Oh, that's okay. I already made plans. Here you go, baby. Don't stop. You know, bro, this ain't me being cheap or nothing. But don't you think you need to switch to, like, water or soda or something? No, it's okay. I don't want any money. Come on, man. Well, hell, man, you ain't gonna drive, are you? I'm fine. Hey, don't worry about it. How's it going? Hey, handsome. Looking for fun? Not interested. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> the FBI sent us a real winner. <laughs> okay, we're bringing in a profiler. <laughs> of course he is. I'm sorry, is this something you want to add, Miss West? Deputy Chief, no, there's nothing you've said worth adding to yet. Our team's going over the lab reports now. And the best way you can help us do our jobs is by having your detectives provide us with local support in the form of your CIs, your street contacts, and any Hello? intel you should have. Hey, is it bad timing? Uh, well, yes and no. What's up? Really what phone are you calling from? Oh, I borrowed Duggan's. Mine, uh, doesn't get reception on for some reason. Listen, uh, my shift's just about over. You, uh, want to do something tonight? Uh, I can't. I gotta go. What if I call you... The same 40 caliber Smith & Wesson was used both times, and no shell casings were found at either crime scene. Both men are from out of town, both in Rennes Listen, I was just being polite. This is actually a really bad time. Ma'am, this is Randy from Colts. Um, I just thought I'd give you a call and let you know that your friend's been down here drinking really heavy tonight. To me, Jay Johnson. Is he still there? Uh, no, ma'am. He took his keys and he left. That's why I just thought I'd give you a call. I appreciate Victim it. Thank me. you. Chuck Excuse Luby. me. Five shots to the back. Same telltale shot to the forehead is consistent with victim A. Idiot. Hey, it's Andy. Leave me a message. your car did you forget where you parked it i walked not that i owe you an explanation all right you just decided to take a stroll through the worst part of town all by yourself how'd you know where to find me Your father could not have known that man had killed someone before. Could not have known that there were plans to kill again. 
If Detective Drew Brazil had not pulled over the erratic driver in front of him that night, more people would have died. Instead, only two did. In a shootout. Right here. I'm just gonna pretend that never happened? Yep. Another dead body found next to a rental car. Shot and beaten. Someone definitely spent some time here. Will someone turn off that damn car? All right, guess he started with a full tank, which means it's been idling for a good eight hours now, before we took over the investigation in earnest. Noted for the record. It's essential for the integrity of our investigation to delineate it from yours. Well, a cash and watch are gone, but look, this guy's a Marnie. Great. Native son gets killed. The press will have a field day with this. Was he rich local? Uh, it used to be. Blair Marnie Jr. inherited Tri-South Bank from his father. Marnie the third here was poised to succeed him. Enter Solomon Cahoon, seized the company in a hostile takeover in the 90s. Last I heard, Blair was moving in with his wife's family in Asheville. And still affiliated with the bank. Yeah, Cahoon let him stay on in some bogus management role. Patronizing SOB. But throw a rock and you'll find one of those. <laughs> All right, we'll do a rundown why this guy was in town, see if we can track his footsteps. You guys want to go through his office supplies? You're more than welcome. <sighs> the killer managed to pick up all the casings again? Yep. Smart. Keeps us from getting firing pin impressions or DNA from them. Mm-hmm. Good thing there's no press out here today. Not even your shadow. Works for me. calling all morning. I told them you were sick and they said to stay home and get better. I didn't want to go to work today anyway. Hey, Tommy, it's Andy. I was wondering if, um, are you, are you busy? Have you gotten these boxes anyway? Bricks? Books. Remind me to buy you a Kindle. It's in Nota. What do you think? Uh, that you're taking advantage of me? Not the way I'd like. You're out for a little fresh air to pollute? Yeah, something like that. Just needed a break. Any headway? No. And I can't believe it keeps happening right under our noses. It's like the killer knows this city better than we do. Yeah, or, or it's pretty damn lucky. I mean, all three crime scenes are in areas with spotty radio coverage. Look, when I said what I did to Officer Jenkins about cuffing that woman, I did not intend for it to be some public humiliation. It was one guy, one situation. OK. Apology accepted. Turning heads. Probably not in the way that I'd like. I don't know about that. Hi. Something needs to be done. Agreed. It won't be easy. Vanessa's got deep pockets beholden to no one. Hammer, for whatever reason, is wildly popular. Or at least not easily replaced. Oh, I don't know. 
Deputy Chief Good could be a very effective leader. Patrols. Iron handed tactics may have been derided in the past, but then we didn't have a serial killer running around loose, did we? Excuse me, Mr. Mayor, it's time. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mayor Charles Search. That'll be enough of that. <laughs> We're here tonight to applaud our local heroes, not our MC. Three years ago, the city had a violent crime rate that was surging, and a police force on the verge of folding. One woman changed all of that. On behalf of Tri-South Bank, I am proud to present this award for outstanding public service in the area of community safety to Chief of Police, Judy Hammer. You know the best part of this evening? The wine and your speech. <laughs> and the company wasn't so bad either. You know, you uh, deserve that award. The things you've done for the department, for the community. How bitter a pill do you suppose it was for Cahoon to watch me get this? <laughs> like chewing penicillin. Hi. Judy? Everything all right? Judy, I'm sorry. Seth, where are you? Are you driving? Judy, I'm sorry I've been such a disappointment. Seth, talk to me. Goodbye. Judy, let them do their jobs. Chief, thankfully he's alive. Based on skid marks, it appears he was traveling upwards of 60 miles an hour. He did hit the brakes just before this concrete column lost control of the vehicle and rolled right here. Also, uh, we found this. What happened? Is he okay? Uh, he's banged up, but he's alive. Yeah, because if he really didn't want to be, he wouldn't have put a seatbelt on. What? Yeah, I found a suicide note. <laughs> Give it to you guys. Officer, can I speak with you? Sure. What exactly happened here? So where were you last night? With him? No. Where were you? Oh. Judy. Uh, well, what, what can I do? Do you want me to get rid of Brazil? Uh, no, no. Chief Hammer, I'm so sorry. We're here to report on this story, am I correct? Then tell the truth. I'm not going to pretend everything's fine anymore. Because it's not. Come 
Chief of Police's husband hurt in suicide attempt. Chief of Police's husband hurt in mysterious crash. Man hurt in accident. Seth Bridges, husband of police chief Judy Hammer, nearly died yesterday here in what sources say was a failed suicide attempt. Mr. Bridges is reportedly in stable condition, but this near tragedy certainly doesn't help the chief's cause. Because while some sympathize with her situation, many are asking, is Judy Hammer too overwhelmed with personal problems to effectively run the department? All three men died of a single gunshot wound to the head, but this one was inflicted after a fair amount of what I'd label physical torture. Gun not good enough anymore. You have to use a tire iron too. Mm, yes, it's both bludgeon and impaling tool. Sharp end. Mostly lacerations, but as you can see several of these are punctures. Another very deep. Same person do all this? Well, I can't say definitively about the fatal gunshot because it was inflicted while Monty was lying down. Fired directly into the forehead from above, based on the shape of the wound. And these others? We're likely inflicted by someone right-handed, moderate versus severe force, and based on blood spatter from a standing position. Moderate force, possibly female. An enraged one. But how do you hold a gun and beat the hell out of someone at the same time? She had to have help. A man's. Sorry to interrupt, but I'd figure you'd want to know what we found on this USB stick. Were you at the hospital all night? Just got back a couple hours ago. How is he? He was lucky. They just kept him overnight for observation and they're releasing him later this afternoon. Virginia, I'm thinking of resigning in light of Seth, in light of everything. And Cahoon wants me fired anyway. Yeah. Well, he doesn't know it yet, but Cahoon has his own set of problems. He was being embezzled by Monty to the tune of $5 million. And here's something else to consider. There were only a handful of people at the accident that knew about the note in Seth's car. You read Brazil's article, he didn't mention it. So how did the fact that it was an attempted suicide get on air? What are you doing? Making you coffee, you have a lot of people to see today. Thanks, Virginia, for everything. No, I'm meeting with the governor then. Let's push it to the week after. Bye. My apologies, Judy. Anyway, I was so sorry to hear about your husband. How's he doing? He's gonna be okay. The timing must have been overwhelming. Of course, good news is you have highly skilled individuals waiting in the wings. Should you care to I'm not quitting, Saul. And you can't get me fired. Not anymore. We both know that's outside my jurisdiction. But that's not really why I asked you here. I assume you know that an officer in your company was the latest victim of the killer we've been after. I was supposed to meet with Blair that night. Never showed up. Tragic, really. I had great affection for his family and for him. Well, the feeling wasn't mutual. Our detectives found evidence in his car that Mr. Monty successfully embezzled over $5 million from Tri-South. I'm assuming you had no idea this was going on. Of course not. An isolated incident, I'm sure. Nothing to make your stockholders or your customers get nervous. But people do. They tend to have a hard time separating the illegal activities of an underling from those of his boss. We've notified federal authorities. Oh, and I'll do everything that I can to keep the details out of the press. Thank you. You're a busy man, Saul. Now might be a good time to stop concerning yourself with the police department. Or who's running it.
Hey, you got a gun? Uh, me personally? You can use mine. You know there's no future between us. I know. Your turn. Okay, you shoot too fast. Tap, tap, stop. See what they're doing and then make your adjustments. Can I ask about Blair Monty the third? Beaten and stabbed with a crowbar. Possibly a female, maybe petite, before he was shot in the forehead. A, a woman's doing all this? You'd be amazed what a woman could do. But no, she's not doing it alone. All three victims were killed by a single headshot from several feet away. Not easy to make. If I were to bat, I'd say the killer's a man who lets this woman take out her frustrations on the bodies. Reasonable working theory. Yeah, I'll probably see it on the news tonight. <laughs> you might. You know that TV reporter, Stephanie Kent? I can't prove it, but I think somehow she hacked my email account, stole a quote I got from the mayor. And that information's in an email? Poor man's backup file. I send stuff to myself all the time, drafts, notes. Change your password. I did. Twice. Linda Bond? Yes? CMPD. I have reason to believe that you've been illegally hacking into reporter Andy Brazil's personal email account. You want to tell me who you're sharing his information with, or should I just haul your ass to jail right now? Rooster, I need a tail on someone. Hey. Hey, Roland Taylor here. At first, it seemed like it was only an exchange of information. Turns out there's more involved. Take a look. Around the place on the SUV, you'll never guess who owns it. The asshole I park next to every day. Mm. <laughs> Victim, 17 years old, name withheld. She was just a kid. surprised you know where I live. <laughs> Come in. Thanks. Uh, oh, I didn't didn't realize you had hey, company. Uh, no, I'm uh, just leaving. See you later. Yeah. Niles. Join me while I finish breakfast? Sure. Judy. Adam. I wanted to speak to you about something privately. Are you all right? Well, a lot's happened. Both professionally and personally. Yeah. And God knows they've written enough about it in the press. I know. I am so sorry. It's hurt the department. It's hurt our ability to serve the community like we should. I don't disagree. So I've come to a difficult decision. I'd like to share it with you. Okay. I'm suspending you without pay for 30 days. What? <laughs> On what grounds? Allowing a reporter to access police information because you were too busy being blown to notice in order to protect your ability to lead. I've asked the head of personnel to handle this with the utmost discretion. But know this. I'm watching you. 
unlike your wife. So what do I have the pleasure? I was thinking about the prostitution angle of the killings. Seems to me there's two types of men who deal with hookers. Okay, those who use them and those who want to save them, be heroes to them. The first victim had scratches on his face, right? So I did some research. Turns out he had a rape allegation in his past. Maybe he tried to rape a prostitute. Yeah, it happens a lot more often than you'd think. But there was no DNA supporting that sexual contact occurred. Maybe someone stopped him from succeeding. You know, someone who'd been watching it go down. Maybe someone who was watching her. We're on it. We've got guys calling surveillance from every street leading away from the airport in a two-mile radius in the days and weeks leading up to the first murder. Seeing if we can spot a car and a driver hanging out. But nice try. Well, can't you just search for a hooker with the medical examiner's height estimate? Do you know how many small women there are in the world? We don't even know what she looks like. <sighs> what did Jay Johnson's alleged rape victim look like? And maybe he went looking for the same type of woman to attack. Look. I really appreciate all the thought you have put into this, but I can't discuss this with you. Yeah, but... Hey, we need to stay in our own lanes. We're not friends. We're not anything. I'm the cop. You're a writer. Let's we'll leave it at that. Andy, you're back. Just for a minute. What? I came to get Dad's gun. Got a car sitting here for three hours. Two weeks ago, outside a gas station on Dowd Road. What kind of car? Chevy Cavalier, 90-something. Blue? I think so, why? Might have one of those, too. Roland, can you run Harvey Nancy Oscar 3096? You bet. Thanks. Brewster, look at this. That woman in the doorway? There's too many shadows to get her face using image enhancement, but I'd lay odds that's who the guy in the Chevy's watching. Rental car lot on York Mounds. Chevy parked across the street. Any women visible? Right, here on the corner. Short, small, darker hair, though. No, her lady's wearing a wig. Can you zoom in on her face? I'm trying. I'm trying. I got it. Her Chevy's registered to an Earl Emery Duggins. 300 Tucker CG Road. That's Denny's partner. EMTs get 30,000 more calls a year than we do. They know this city. What are you talking about? EMTs. We need to find Duggins. I'm on it. Okay. This is as clear as I can get. Now, who is she? How old are you? 18, asshole. Leave me alone. I just want to talk. Well, maybe I don't. You're cute. Why someone cute as you gotta buy a girl? I don't want to buy you. Hey, I'm a journalist. Oh, yeah? What's your name? Andy Brazil. I write for the Register. I've heard of you. Really? Listen, are there other girls that you know of? You know, girls like yourself. Why? You gonna write about our lives and stuff? Yeah, sure. Only creeps out tonight anyway. Let's go for a drive. Sure. At this point, we can't afford to make any mistakes. Okay. Well, call me after. Thanks, Virginia. Never thought I'd see the inside of this room again. I didn't think I wanted to. I was wrong. Does that work? Yes. 
Did you catch the killer? We're getting close. Are you comfortable? Do you need anything? Just you. Seth. I want a divorce. Seven hundred approaching Duggan's residence now. Seven hundred. Copy that. We're clear. Great, it's not at work either. If you're not a cop, why do you listen to this stuff? We're breaking news so I can get there first. Can we turn on music instead? Why don't we just go to a coffee shop and talk? I'd rather go somewhere private. In case you change your mind. I'm not gonna change my mind. Not that you're not a, a pretty girl okay, with beautiful hair. It's not mine. My boyfriend says it helps to think I'm somebody else when I do this. The itch, though. Go to the end of that road. No one comes here. You know, I'm supposed to be home by now. I should uh, probably pull over and text my wife so she doesn't get suspicious. I'll do it for you. So you can keep driving? Sure. Don't know why men cheat. Why they do any of the disgusting things they do. Last text was to Virginia. That hurt? Yep. Always pawing at you. That happened when you were younger? Maybe sexual abuse? You know what's funny? I kind of hate guys. What do you want me to type? <clears throat> that, um, I'm still at work, but I'll see her soon. And uh, at the end, type the words tap, tap. It's sort of our version of XO, so. Cute. Sent. Get hair samples from his brush. I want to match his DNA to the saliva on the first victim. Register, see if Andy Brazil's there. If not, have them find out where he is. Why? What's going on? We need to isolate Brazil's location using cell towers. Reigns, hey, it's me. One of the worst spots in the city for EMT to get radio calls. Park near those old buildings. So do you hate your boyfriend, too? He's different. He saved my life. How? This guy, this guy, he tried to rape me. And my boyfriend, he was right there to stop it. Said he'd been watching me for a while, like a guardian angel. Do you mind if I get out and stretch my legs before I start talking? No, not at all. So, you were asking about my boyfriend? Yeah. You want to meet him? We've already met. Guess even big time reporters have a hard time getting laid. Out of the car. And you touch anything but that door handle, and I will splatter your brains all over this little classic.
No shoot, okay? He tried to force himself on me. What? I did not. She's lying. You disgusting piece of garbage putting your filthy hands on her! Can I do it this time? Please? Why'd you pick this one? Huh? You like him or something? No. I don't like it when you like them. I don't. I just want... being above the fold? Never. Nice shirt, by the way. Yeah, you can't have one. Well, it suits you, whatever it is, the uh, tornado or beehive. It's a hornet's nest, Ooh. which is how Lord Cornwallis described Charlotte in 1780, been on the city seal ever since. Right, I remember reading that. <laughs> he said it was hostile. Still is. Only if you poke it, which you do. You generally, or me specifically? Tell me you're not gonna talk the whole time. Oh, I might ask a few questions. Ah. Oh, it's too early for this. 